say you're out camping and a couple of squirrels drop by and one of them looks at your food, turns his nose up, runs back up the tree, but the other one, he is seriously eyeing your food. But you're camping, so you came prepared with your plate and perhaps a cup, but you have some friendly plastic, which is food safe. You can quickly make him a nice little plate that's reminiscent of something he's more comfortable with, like a leaf, but something that's not perfect because you don't want him to think that you're going to treat him like you would treat yourself on a camping trip. He's a guest. You want him to have the best. So take some of your boiling water, pour in some of your friendly plastic. He's got hands. You're eating with hands. You're good. You've already got a little plate that you made out of friendly plastic. That stuff's that's dirty enough for him. Look at this. It's a little flexible, so if he wants to take it home with him, you know, it's no skin off your nose. So you put your friendly plastic in there, and it goes from opaque beads. I'll show you. Turn it back around. Opaque beads to clear. Once it turns clear in your super hot water, you risk your life by reaching in there, grabbing it out, throwing it on a stone. Look at that. Clear beads. He's fascinated. He's watching you like a hawk. He's probably already on your plate having a little sample of whatever you were eating. But you're busy and distracted. And he's a typical squirrel. But you see, he's eating off of your plate, and he looks thirsty. And so, you quickly take your plastic and form him a nice little cup. Now again, you want it to be reminiscent of nature, and nature is beautiful in its imperfection, not its perfection. So you just take a little of it, shape it up real nice and create a lovely little bowl. Now if you work with it as it's getting cooler, you can create any nice little shape you want to for him. But of course he's going to prefer that he be able to drink out of it. So take your cup and just wrap this around the outside of it as best you can, as quickly as you can while it's still see-through. Mold it around your cup. You can even create a little handle for him. Just pull it together. Give him a nice little cup. And then, he's got a little sippy side. Looks a little taller. I want to shape it a little better than that. And since this is a plastic top and I'm using something that's plastic, you might have to pry it away just a touch. But, your squirrel is going to feel so flattered that you thought of her and how quick and resourceful you are and making her a little cup to wash down. A little bit of water would be nice for her or whatever you're drinking. I'm sure they don't mind a little beer once in a while. But give her a little something to sip once she's finished eating the food in your bowl or on your plate. Now you can just kind of hold it like this with your hands. Now I took it off the plastic because it's going to stick to that plastic. You don't want it to stick to that and become a permanent. Unless you want a cup holder, in which case you've got one now and you can stick your cup right in it. Once it firms up a little bit, you don't have to worry about it sticking to your plastic. Sorry, kind of got out of the way there. But, while your little squirrel is finishing off the food on your plate, you're making her a nice little cup. And it's going to take a few more seconds. And <laughs> it's going to be rigid plastic. You can make it as deep as you want. But, you know, squirrels aren't that big. They don't need anything too huge. But she is going to so be looking up the tree at the one who ran away, making fun of him, chattering at him, saying, well, you should have stayed because this camper knows how to treat a squirrel right.
which is important because you're going out in nature. And nature appreciates it when you think ahead and you plan for them to visit. They don't like it when you act all scared. They don't like it when you act real testy. Like you're surprised to find a squirrel in nature who's interested in eating off your plate. So while you've got your cup and plate, your guest squirrels, they need theirs too. This is what it's going to harden up to, which is pretty terrible. This is some hard plastic, but it's food safe. That's important to squirrels. They're very conscious of these things. Some people have given them old beer cans. It's not really polite. Several of them have been wounded this way. When they try to finish off your beer and the metal cuts them. This way you have no sharp edges and as you see your cup is done. It's virtually cooled to the touch. I'm messing with it but it's not actually molding anymore. Just because it's already turned opaque so it's slightly warm to the touch. But see the squirrels they need your love. They need to know you were thinking of them when you were out camping. And then, once the squirrel finishes using your bowl and plate, you can wash them out. As long as you don't use boiling water again, you're not going to have any problem washing it out. And, if in your next meal, the little squirrel doesn't come to visit because she's still full, you can use it to separate something on your plate. Like, say you like baked beans with your hot dogs but you're afraid that it's going to slip off the edge of your container, you can create a separate little bowl that has a handle. And you can keep your beans separate. But when you think ahead and plan ahead, you can create little dish sets for your squirrel visitors that are nice hard plastic. And well, let's put some water in it and make sure that the squirrel can get some water out of it. Look at that. Your squirrel's going to be so happy. So, so happy. Holds water beautifully. All right. That's the way to prepare for camping when you go out in nature. Always make sure you're prepared with your friendly plastic. Boil some water. And then create little dish sets for your visitors. And let them take them home. It'll be lovely decor for them.